guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason, you're now tuned to I Speak Geek. So guys, today I wanted to talk to you about Amazon Luna. So this is another streaming service for games similar to Google Stadia. And Amazon announced this a few months back, uh, back when they had their big Amazon hardware event that Amazon Luna, Luna was coming. So Amazon Luna, uh, you can stream it on your mobile device through a web browser or through your Mac or PC through a dedicated app. Um, so because of Apple's tax, the 30% tax, uh, whenever an app generates revenue, the way Amazon decided to skirt around this was having like a web app on the phone. So you won't find an app in the app store for your phone, but you will find the app for the Mac computer. So I've been playing around with Luna and the games look good of course with it being a streaming services it all depends on your connection so if you have a a limited connection or you don't have that big of bandwidth uh, you're going to notice drop frames uh buffering issues and so on and so forth uh, while I was testing, um, I really didn't have any connection issues. There was one time where the quality quality did change, but you know, once my connection speeded up, um, it was back to playing as normal. Um, there are not a lot of uh, AAA games in the catalog. There are there are a few, uh, a lot older games, Messages Exodus and Control, which was should be like the premier game for uh, Amazon Luna. I didn't opt in for the Amazon uh, controller. Instead, I tried using my own PlayStation controller. But that didn't work. I don't think the uh, PS5 controllers are supported by my Mac at this time. Um, or, or it may be an issue with Luna. I've tried several times, but I couldn't quite get to work. Um, anytime it come up, it's a dual, dual shot four instead of dual sense controller. So it could be an issue um, at the time testing. I know Apple did release an update so that the PS5 controls are supported, um, but I'll try again later. I, I was using the keyboard and mouse, which is something I haven't used in quite some time, but I found it fun using that because of the amount of controls that were open to me was great. And I have to say, you know, it's quite a mixed bag because like, the way that Amazon does it for Luna is that you subscribe to these channels. There's Amazon's channel, which includes classic games and some uh, AAA titles, whereas there are going to be other channels coming in the future. And so far, there's only a channel from Ubisoft, which is $14.99 a month, where Amazon's channel is $5.99 a month. But with Ubisoft, you get access to their games, such as, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So again, I've been playing this on my computer. I haven't branched out to playing it on like, say an iPad or iPhone. Um, you know, this is such a crowded market uh, with gamers uh, or game streaming services. You have Apple Arcade, um, you have Google Stadia, and now uh, Amazon Luda and Xbox Cloud. So what is going to distinguish this service versus the other? Uh, so Amazon has one thing going for them is their architecture. So Amazon is a big company and a lot of uh, companies depend on Amazon for cloud services. So if Amazon can, you know, I guess strategically align that with their, their gaming subscription service, then they should have a great product, but then Again, you have to have the games there too, along with the product, or else nobody's gonna tune in. And, you know, they should learn from Google Stadia's mistakes because, you know, with Stadia's launch, everything wasn't there immediately at day one. And I know with Amazon Luna right now, it's a, you know, opt-in service. So like, if you wanted, you know, to be able to use it, you have to sign up and have to be selected. And same thing with buying a controller right now. I guess while Amazon works out on all the bugs, works out all the bugs. So this is why I was actually able to play because Amazon did 
uh, send me an email, allow me to join uh, early access to Amazon Luna. And like I said, it is a fairly decent service. I didn't like that the, the, it was separated by channels just because like if I want to play a game, I don't want to have to then again buy another subscription. Like I kind of want it there, you know, okay, if you're going to raise the price, but include everything in one, that is, you know, that's, that's great right there. Um, but then again, you know, Stadia kind of does the same thing. You know, you have like subscription to their service and you get some free games, but like, if you want any of the new titles, you do have to buy that separately. But with Amazon, you, you have a subscription to their service and you get some casual games and some older games. And then if you really want those high end games, you then have to subscribe to uh, the developer's channel. And I don't think that's gonna fly with a lot of people, especially when there's so many options out there in this field. So guys, those are my thoughts on Amazon Luna, still early stages of the service and gameplay has been relatively smooth you know of course it depends on your connection uh you know so far uh, i can't find any issues other than how they broke up the subscription service and you know some of you might like this so you know try it out and you could always cancel um they are doing i think it's a week free so if you can get uh access to Luna, I'd suggest signing up and, and trying it out. So guys, if you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe. This is Jason. Is blood, Catch you later. It's all Thanks. right. Scattered in mud, it's all right. You're giving me